So this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is in my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the total heat or total capacity. For example, if we have a two-ton unit, we're going to be able to determine what is the real capacity of that unit. Okay, so let's get into it. So to begin with, we're going to start with the formula. The formula that's the rule of thumb says that Q, which is heat or total heat, is going to be equal to 4.5 times CFM. We understand what CFM is now. It's cubic feet per minute and times the new comer. In here it's going to be delta H, which is the change in a specific enthalpy, okay? So since we know this is Q, which is total heat, CFM cubic feet per minute, we're, then we're going to analyze a little bit delta H. What is delta H? As mentioned, it's going to be the specific, specific enthalpy. Specific enthalpy. Enthalpy. Okay? And the units are BTUs, okay, divided by, but uh, just to remember, what is enthalpy? Because uh, we explained this in other videos, but I'm just going to put in here a little bit of um, side cloud, see, like a cloud or, enthalpy is actually the heat content, see, heat content, heat content. And since we're talking about air, heat content in air. Okay? That's what is enthalpy. And I said this is this was gonna be in a cloud. There we go. Cloud, cloud. Nice. So enthalpy, heat content in air. Okay? So the since it's heat content and heat content is energy, okay. Energy is measured in BTUs, but since we're talking about a specific, that's going to, going to be divided by pound, by mass, by unit mass. Uh, for example, sometimes we talk about a specific volume, that's going to be cu cubic feet per pound, or uh, we're going to be uh, uh, talking about other variables. Anything specific sometimes, uh, most often is divided by unit of mass, all right? So that's a specific enthalpy. So in order to put this into more context, we're going to put in here um, an air handler unit. So for example, if we are in the attic, in the attic usually we have a horizontal air handler unit, or sometimes a horizontal furnace, okay? There we go. So this is my air handler unit, AHU, air handling unit in the attic. And, well, we're going to have in here our plenums, our return side, and our supply side. This is the return air, this is the supply air, okay? Return supply, okay? There we go, there we go, goes in that direction. So in order to measure the total heat, which is what we, we, what we want to obtain, we only need the total enthalpy, okay? So I'm gonna put that in white in here. The total enthalpy. So, in other words, I need total enthalpy H1 and total enthalpy H2. That's all I need. But don't forget, this is total. Total enthalpy. Enthalpy. All right? So, the total enthalpy entering, the total enthalpy leaving. So, in other words, my formula starts like this. Q, the total Q is going to be the difference in total enthalpy. Enthalpy that's going in minus enthalpy that's going out. That's for cooling purposes. And let's make this a little bit better. So this is going to be the coil, this is going to be the fan, and this is going to be the electrical strips, heating strips. There we go. All right. So this is originally the formula. But what is total enthalpy? Actually, total enthalpy is going to be equal to the following. The total enthalpy is going to be equal to the mass times a specific enthalpy. So as you may have seen, this is small, see, small, and this is capital, cap, capital, right? Small and capital. So whenever we're talking about total, this comes from the thermodynamic notations. So what we need to know is just like the total heat is going to be equal to the total enthalpy. That's why this is in cap, capitals. And 
but the the formula itself, the rule of thumb, is going to be in small letters, which means specific enthalpy. Okay. So since it's a specific enthalpy, we have this formula: the total enthalpy is going to be equal to the mass times the specific enthalpy. All right. And um, so that's how it starts. That's how it starts. So what we're going to put in here then is the the heat Q equals instead of putting the total enthalpies, we're going to put mass times a specific enthalpy one mass times a specific enthalpy two mass is constant okay so if since it's constant what we're going to do is q equals mass equals h1 minus h2 and if we want to divide this by time okay let's divide this by time divided by time See, I'm gonna put divided. If I'm dividing by time on this side, I need to divide by time on the other side. And you all remember that whenever we divide something in time, we put that as a dot, as a notation. So this is gonna be BTUs per hour, mass is gonna be pounds per hour. So this is gonna be M dot. And this difference in enthalpy, specific enthalpy is gonna be delta H, okay? So this is the original formula, original formula, or let's say original formula. And we want to go to the rule of thumb. Let's put in here, rule of thumb. Okay, rule of thumb. And that process is going to be a little bit easier because um, let's just start with that. So everything starts from the original formula and then that's going to be equal to the following. Density actually is going to be equal to mass divided by volume. And therefore, mass equals to density times volume. If we want to uh, take into account the measurement of time this, or rates, this is going to be that. And if I do a dot here, I do a dot here. Or you can always divide this divided by time or divided by time in both. It has to be for both, right? That comes from math. So since we have the measurement of mass or rate, rate of mass, which is going to be in pounds per hour, we have in here feet per hour. So I'm going to replace this formula into the original formula, all right? So this is going to be Q dot equals to... I'm going to replace that with uh, with white. So this is going to be density times volume dot. And then that's going to be equal to delta H. There we go. Delta H. So now, what is the value of density? Density of air is going to be equal to 0 0.075. That's going to be pounds per cubic feet. But this is at standard conditions standard standard conditions 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 and this is standard conditions of air okay so since we have that we're going to plug that in in here we're gonna be we're gonna have the following q equals the density the density is going to be equal to 0 0.075 uh, pounds per cubic feet times what is volume the volume that we want is actually cfm but the cfm is cubic feet per minute okay but we don't want q the total heat to be in btus per minute we want that q to be in btus per hour so in other words we're going to convert this variable from minutes to hours so what we know is that 60 minutes in 60 minutes okay there is one hour and then times delta t and delta t is just going to be the units of del delta t are going to be btus per pound because it's a specific enthalpy, see, a specific enthalpy. So let's make this a little bit better. So pretty much this is density, this is CFM, all of this actually is um, flow rate, see, volume. 
and this is going to be change in a specific enthalpy there we go okay and if you want to see this a little bit better and demonstrate that this is consistent see minutes with minutes go away and pounds with pounds go away and cubic feet with cubic feet and the result will give me BTUs per hour which is pretty much what we're looking for all right so finally what we're going to have in here is the following Q is going to be equal to let's put this in white 0 0.075 times 60 times what is remaining in here is this actually CFM right cubic feet per minute is CFM CFM times this is delta H delta H change in a specific enthalpy all right and finally Q equals to 4.5 if you do the math it's going to be 4.5 times cubic feet per minute CFM times a specific enthalpy okay here we go we're gonna put that in a box okay that's all so now let's let's uh, recap this a little bit more so you're gonna be able to find the CFM okay so how do you find CFM CFM usually you find it from the manufacturer specs manufacturer manufacturer specs manufacturer okay so in other words you're gonna be able to find the uh, blower data manufacturer blower data let's put blower data blower data so how do you obtain that if you have the model of the furnace you're gonna need the model model number the model and then that's gonna give you the CFM the model number of the furnace the CFM at certain static pressure see you if you have a table and you're gonna be able to at usually 0 0.5 or 0 0.7 the static pressure and based on that you're going to be able to obtain the CFM okay we have that then how do you obtain the, the specific enthalpy so for the specific enthalpy you're gonna be you're gonna need just the following measurement you're gonna, you can obtain from here let's put this in let's say pink okay so from here you need to measure the temperature one and temperature two wet bulb wet bulb and wet bulb that's all you need so if you find the wet bulb wet bulb you can go to the psychrometric chart we can put in here the side chart side chart psychrometric chart or you can also use the online version you can always go to google and in order to go to google you can you need two data two pieces of data uh, you need temperature you can use the temp wet bulb temperature and you can make a measurement measurement of dry bulb temperature see dry bulb temperature dry bulb temperature in other words if you're a technician and you're going to the attic make two measurements make uh, use your psychrometer or uh, put your temperature probes and then measure the dry bulb temperature and the wet bulb temperature the same thing for the supply side wet bulb temperature uh, dry bulb temperature with these two two pieces of information you go to any app or you go to google and you're going to be able to find the specific enthalpy specific enthalpy we don't need the total we need only we need only the specific enthalpy specific enthalpy because that's what we're talking about here okay so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did if you if you learned something from this don't forget to hit the like button that helps a lot and also don't forget to subscribe and share all right thank you so much and have a good one